is going on guys? My name is Daniel47 for all of you that don't know and for those of you that do, welcome back to the channel for more quality Halo content today. Holy crap. I was lying in bed a little bit ago and I I don't know how I'm so late to this. Maybe it's just because I haven't been on Twitter recently or what. Um, but yet yeah, this weekend, as in this Friday, today's Tuesday, three days and three days we could possibly be playing Halo Infinite's first ever tech preview, guys. That is insane. Sorry, I just, I, I, I don't even know what to say. I literally sat straight up after just waking up and reading that. I was like, no way. Because this information is not even new. This came out on Friday, for those of you that aren't already aware. But, oh, dude, I am so excited for this. So, Let's, let's go over a little bit of the details. Uh, I'm doing something a little different. I'm doing a live gameplay while I talk about this, so excuse me if I suck, but... Um, so there's a few things that I wanted to go over. Um, it's not necessarily this weekend, so I need to calm myself down as well, because that's what I was kind of getting at at the very beginning here, but... They said that there's two things that we need to be watching out for specifically. Right, so first off, they said that they are planning a live stream for when the build goes live, like right before or a day before, I don't know, they, they weren't very specific. Um, they're going to have a live stream going over like what is all in the fight and everything like that. So once we get that live stream, it's all sunshine and roses from there. He was on top. Anyways. Um, so yeah, once we get that live stream, we, we know for a fact it is coming within one to two days of whenever that is released. But also, what is the first... Like, we already know what the first technical preview is going to be about. And it's not even, like, your regular multiplayer preview, guys. It's literally fighting bots. And... Some people might be turned off by that. I'm actually incredibly excited after reading this blog post and like hearing what the bots can do. It's kind of nuts. Um, Joseph Staten was talking about like his um, experience with the bots and dude, I want to see what they can do. Like, I mean, and we get to shape the future of these bots. So like they said specifically that they're pretty quirky, but uh, like even just explaining some of what they were doing if they're quirky but can still do some of this, and like I'm putting it up on screen for you guys, hopefully, dude, like I am incredibly excited for what they can do. Period. Much less in like custom games and stuff. It's gonna be absolutely insane. I cannot wait for this. But like I said, live stream. Watch for the live stream because as soon as we see that, we will know in the next one to two days that we will be playing Halo Infinite. And that is enough to get home, uh, to get home, to write home and get excited about, I think. But yep, I'm going to go ahead and finish this game here. Um, hopefully you all enjoyed, um, and for those of you that stick around, I appreciate it. Sorry for me sucking. Um, but yeah, uh, if you couldn't tell, I, I've seen a lot of people rocking it, but the infinite helmet in 4, come on, peek, there you go is the sexiest helmet i swear like out of all the default helmets besides the mark IV, obviously but like i don't even know if people really consider that a default anymore at this point uh the infinite helmet has got to be one of my favorites the only one i could say sort of can compare but not really because it isn't actually a default helmet it was just teased to be one is the warrior uh, in Halo 4, I don't remember if people remember this, like, when they were still just showing screenshots and, like, the first few videos and stuff, um, they actually made it seem like the Warrior Helmet was gonna be the default, like, all the Spartans that were playing had that, and I still thought, I still think it's cool, there are cooler helmets, that's why I use them, and that's why it would be a default, but I like it more than Recruit, Woo. but, yep, uh, as for why I'm playing SWAT and Halo 4 specifically, it is the easiest to get headshots with a BR and ha, 
And I'm still trying to get that 500 kills or 500 headshots with a BR challenge. I've got the white energy sword. I got that yesterday. Pretty simple way to get that, actually. I can. Uh, if you're still here, uh, quick tip if you want that energy sword. All you have to do is go to the third checkpoint in Long Night of Solace and jump down, kill the four elites that are in there, and then restart. You can restart or reset, it doesn't matter even if you get a checkpoint like after you kill them. You can just restart. It makes it seem like you're going to restart the entire mission, but you're not, so don't worry about it. It'll just send you right back to where you started, and you keep doing that. I think I had a hundred and, uh, thing. I think I had 157 before I went in, and an hour later I had the white energy sword, so there you go. But yep, that is going to be the end of the video, guys. Pretty short, pretty sweet, but that's really all you needed to know. I mean, get hyped, guys. We could be playing Halo Infinite in three days. That's nuts to me, but I thought it was enough to write home about and make this video. So I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, be sure to slap that like button, caress it, kiss it. I don't care what you do to it. Just make sure you push it. And that is going to be the end. I'll see you guys in the next video. See you later.